going on black and red crew welcome back to the channel i appreciate you stopping by i got a new build today uh i've had this one for several months probably about four months or so i got this off of timu and it's a book nook i don't normally build book nooks but uh this one kind of caught my attention here it's alien hub this is by a company called no me right here uh this one is the alien hub diy book nook and uh this one just really caught my eye because I love space aliens, space station kind of stuff. And uh, that's what this is. This is a space station, like a, a lab in space and uh, really, really cool looking on the box. Uh, like I said, I got this on Timu. I thought I would just go on there and check what kind of models and puzzles and things like that that they have. And uh, they have quite a bit of stuff. Pretty pretty interesting on uh, how much stuff they have. And the prices are really good. It takes a little while to get it. And uh, I just want to check the quality of it and everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go. This is, uh, like I said, the Alien Hub DIY book nook. And uh, here's the side here. Here we go. And the back. Can't see everything on the back. They put this sticker over it, but it's got like the warnings, choking hazards, all that, uh, all that jazz. This uh, model is for ages, I believe. Where did I see that at? Oh, right here on the front. This is for ages 14 and up. Uh, the picture is only for reference. Please make the objects as the standard. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe it's different on the picture than what it's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and slide the sleeve off of it and get a look here. And here's the inside box, and it says open. So let's open it up, see what we got inside. All right, here's our pieces here. It looks like it's a um, like a pressed wood. It's not any specific type of wood. Like I said, it's like a, I don't know, like a laminate. We got another spot underneath. Now, I know this has like an infinity kind of mirror thing. It's got batteries in it. Uh, looks like we got some plastic tweezers here, different tools, plants, stuff like that. Uh, I believe this is our uh, assembly guide right here. We'll look at that real quick. And the more pieces here, looks like some planets. Pretty cool looking. And we got some plastic pieces here. Very space station looking. Very cool. All right, looks like the box is empty, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Wow, out of this world. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and uh, kind of get a quick look at the instruction manual. See how good the instructions look on it. Uh, shows you the different things. And the uh, other side of tape, glue, stuff like that. And shows you what uh, the icon will look like when you need to use these things. Uh, cut here. Uh, glue application area. is like a little yellow line. That kind of stuff. Shows our electronics here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started.
Okay, right, guys, just for uh, reference, if you're going to be building this, um, the back side is not printed. Uh, it shows on here that you're gluing the mirror this way, which I thought was kind of weird. So I glued it onto the front because it's I, I just seen the printed side and I didn't even catch that everything is reversed on here. But if you look right here, it does say backside. And then over here, it says front of mirror and front. So I didn't catch that. I was just looking at the print and the back side of this has no print. So I glued it on the printed side. You're supposed to glue it onto the back side with the mirror facing that way. That's, that's how it's supposed to go. But uh, it should still work out fine the way I did it. I can't get it back off now. I'll probably end up just breaking the mirror. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. Uh, this piece is gonna go over it here and attach in. The lights go on the inside of this ring and then uh, this piece will be going on over the top of it. And that's gonna give that infinity mirror of lights going towards the planet. But uh, it should still work fine. Let's go ahead and keep moving.
right guys we are all done with the space hub book nook uh here it is right here what a cool build man look at this thing this thing's awesome you see yourself in that mirror <laughs> how cool is that man half part wood part plastic 100 percent friggin awesome this is a really cool build man i like it a lot i like you a lot <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and just tap now, there's no metal or anything it's under the wood you just tap the wood Beep. and bring that light on you get that infinity light there in the back it's like a port there it goes yeah that see so you got a planet in there check that out how cool looking is that man that's so cool you got like some specimens in there in the case look at that up at the top you got some plant stuff different doors hatches this thing's just super cool man got like a little secret compartment here a little drawer pull out you can hide something in there store something in there kind of neat what a fun build man this guy this didn't take that long either about probably about three hours something like that and uh that was taking my time you know that wasn't really in any kind of a rush or trying to hurry through it really really nice build everything fit together really well all the different tabs fit in the slots everything fit really well i had no issues with this this felt like i was building like a roker build or something where everything just fits really well together uh but it's not it's not roker but uh how cool man how cool is that they made this little flaps back here they're those uh kind of uh bendy parts that uh the ones that you break all the time when you're trying to build models uh, if you build, pull these up, you can get to the battery box and slide it out to change the batteries. Yeah, I could see putting like maybe some small figures in there, maybe putting an alien busting through or something. You could do this up however you want. I just love this whole uh, look to it. All the clear plexiglass there with the digital writing and stuff on it. Just so neat. Very sci-fi. Really cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Uh, like I said, I picked this up uh, on Timu, so you just have to go to Timu and search Alien Spaceport uh, Book Nook, and uh, you'll you'll find this if, if you're interested in it. Uh, I thought it was just really neat and uh, super cool build. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then scroll right over there and hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Helps the channel out immensely, and I'll see you next time, guys. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See ya! Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.